and uh, thing you want to be careful about is the anal glands. So I'm going to scrub this guy down. I'm going to use a little bit of soap and clean him right up good. And we'll freeze him up and then we'll bring him into the Wilderness Living Challenge. We're going to eat this guy later on. I think this will be a, a reward meal for the end of the Wilderness Living Challenge because last year we did a uh, full, full, full blown modern meal. But I think this time if we don't win, we get the skunk award. What do you guys think? Should we eat the skunk if we lose? You ready, Horn? Yep. You said it smells a little bit? Yeah. But but not bad, not like a roadkill skunk. No, it's like a bathed skunk, eh? Yeah, I had a bath. Yeah. Alright. So got... <clears throat> I just want to see the rope set up there. But go ahead. Sure. That's pretty cool. So you just wrapped around one leg there, one leg there. That would work really well for a hair or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and reusable too. So we gotta do watch out for that anal gland, which we don't know exactly where it is, do we? Yeah, I uh, for sure can say that I've never cleaned a skunk before. I'm sure they're similar to most of the other animals that I have, except for this. We're watching out for a gland, right? Yep. Yeah, it smells a little bit, but it's not bad, eh? No. No, it's not bad at all. There's a reason Jeremy's doing this. What's the reason? <laughs> you want to know the reason? Because you're squeamish. No, I'm not squeamish. The reason Jeremy is doing this is because I'm not very careful <laughs> or patient with this sort of stuff. And Jeremy will spend like as much time as it takes to do it properly. After the trip we did on the Wilderness Living Challenge, <laughs> we learned so much about eating wild foods. You know, the kind of learning that you can only do by having to do it, right? Yeah. Looks like good meat. It's a slippery character here now. Don't pull too hard. The harder you pull, the more it stinks. Is that what's going on? Yeah. She stinks wow. now. Yeah, so they see the gland. The gland right there. And then there's another gland on the other side, on the opposite side, right mm -hmm. there. So that's what we're carefully trying to remove, right there. So the idea now, we're going to flip it back around and we think that the glands are attached to the um, vent. And if we take the guts out from the inside, we can pull the whole thing out and then we won't have to mess around with the glands. I think they're probably all attached to the digestive system. So if we get the glands out like that, then we don't have to cut the ducts and we don't have to spill any of that uh, foul odor, basically the chemical that the skunk releases when it's threatened. So we're in the process we're going to flip it back around now and then we're going to gut it and then hopefully the whole thing comes out, the whole stuff that we don't want. Put your hands there. A piece of twine. Tie. Of course. We, and if we want to get further up. If you want to get real crafty we can tie it off two places. We could, yeah. Right? Let's, let's get real crafty then. Okay, you let's got enough rope there to yeah, should I, tie a few, eh? I should not use a big tail, but... Okay, so now we have a front train and a back train, and we're going to split the train in the middle. and It's moving a little bit, but it's still got some attachment inside the pelvic girdle there. I won't tug too hard because I don't want anything to tear. So that's the, the train we want to get out here. Grab the other one so it's not lonely in there. Two kidneys. Okay, so... All right, so what are you going to save there? The liver. The liver, of course. So we've got two kidneys in the pot. We're going to get a liver. There's a gall, is that part there. The liver and the gall. The gall is no good, it's full of junk. You want to remove it, and the trick is if you pull it away just with your thumbnail mostly, the liver is tearing a bit here. So what I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to cut it loose. Stomach I'd pass on because they're going to be eating meat, right? So there's probably some raw meat in there. It's probably pretty gross. Okay. Not a herbivore. We ate rabbit stomach and it was good. Yep. So those glands, they look like little, I guess like little beans, right? There's a bean. Yeah, thanks. So these little things there, those will make your meat taste like um, skunk body odor. So if you like skunk body odor, eat those. 
whatever skunk body odor smells like. Like if you ate your armpits, glands. Probably wouldn't taste too good, right? That's one there. You see so one? There was, yeah. Oh yeah, That's definitely. for sure a gland. It was back in the... Yeah, I see that one. In the skin flap. So here's a gland right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. So all this fat should probably be removed just to see if there's any glands hiding in them. Write that one out. Yeah, so okay. that other one should be right in... I would take this fat out and see if yeah. it's tucked in there. So there may have been a gland hiding in that fat. That looks like it could be fatty glandular, so I'll just trim that out as well. Did you Here's find one else? at the base of the... Ooh, good find. ...neck when I was cutting out the esophagus. Oh that yeah, I see, I see the other one on the other side. Is that another one here? Uh, right there, there. there it is, yeah. yeah on yeah. the other side of the animal. Well, I think there's a couple in the neck. Like even right there, that, that looks like one. See that one? Does that look like one there? Yeah. I mean, the neck might be just full of them. Uh, on the raccoon, they were all along the tongue. So I think they would remove, they would come in and remove the tongue and it yeah, would all come Yeah, that was a gland there. Yeah, I see, think. in here too. That's a gland, definitely. Yep. Guys, so we've washed this off nicely, so that's our cleaned out, ready to go skunk. It has a very, very, very little smell. So we're putting that in the pot here with our organs and heart and liver. And then we're gonna put a brine in. This is apple cider vinegar, I think. Apple cider vinegar. And to that, we're gonna add some pickling salt, I think it is, or salt. So from there, we're just gonna add a bunch of different spices. I'll throw the recipe down on the bottom. Okay, so now we're just gonna let that sit overnight in the brine solution and we're gonna probably bake it in the oven or maybe we're gonna throw it over the fire and check back in tomorrow. Okay, so Jeremy got skunked on his thumb only <laughs> after yeah. messing around with the hide and uh, the witted beardsman's wife is here <laughs> <laughs> to do a before and after sniff test. <laughs> so Jeremy thinks he's got a cure for this, the skunk issue smell. Yeah. So he's going to use what? Peanut butter. So, and to be clear, what happened on my thumb is like a mucus ball landed on my thumb. So it's very spot specific. I got sprayed by a skunk one time and it actually was a piece of mucus that flew through the air and hit me on the hand. So it's very similar. And I peanut buttered it off and it was fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good, good yep, yep, it smells, yep, yep, it smells good. <laughs> yep. So the peanut butter I think it's the oils in the peanut butter that uh, that will take <laughs> the skunk smell off. So the uh, the most painful part of this is I've been eating <laughs> wild forest fruits <laughs> for six days. Well, you're not going to lick your fingers, and are now, you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that tempted. Okay, so. Um, I won't wash the peanut butter off with soap because that kind of defeats the experiment. Oh, you brought a... Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to wipe your finger for you. Okay. <laughs> wipe your own finger. So if your dog gets sprayed with skunk smell, you just like... <laughs> <laughs> but then they're bear bait. So there's a relatively peanut butter free thumb now. All right. Smell test. Sniff check. Check. I smell peanut butter, but that's it. You don't smell the skunk? No. Do you? I just smell peanut butter. <laughs> very faint, very faint skunk. Yeah. But not like the before. Peanut butter absorbs the skunk.
So it's been simmering all morning. And uh, how's it smelling here? Fine. Not like skunk. Hmm. Thankfully. So there you go. It's almost time for the taste test. Are you being goofy, Jeremy? Yeah, camera's rolling. It's go time. You know, we're oh, eating skunk. There's no steam on there. Okay, guys, dinner served. It's gonna fall apart just to lift it on. No, the it's not fall off the bone, is it? Look I think that. it might be. Wow. Let me get the organs out. I can find them. We got a piece of liver. It's a two fork job, but I only have one. Mm. There's the heart shrunk quite a bit. Heart, liver, one kidney. There's another one in. Oh. Well, it's close enough to everything. There, there's some garlic. I want some of that. Nobody on YouTube has successfully eaten a skunk that I know of. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we counting down? You want to do it all Oh, there's nice fat on the back, too. Oh. Fall, <sighs> fall apart. off the bone. The bone. I wasn't going to eat it. I'm just smelling. I'm too excited. <laughs> He is excited. It smells a little bit like apple cider vinegar. Jeremy's a bit like spice. Jeremy's eating like a hunter gatherer right now, so this is like more food for him. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. To skunk. To skunk. That's like Chinese restaurant chicken. <laughs> it's like sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, it's you're, the maple sugar. Or you're the, right. That. The maple sugar. Get in here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is that edible? Like You're the sweet impressed? and sour chicken. Yeah. This is. You're not in the picture. You want to get in the picture? Are we in now? Yeah. Yep. You're in. Yep. We're We're in six room. inches there. The three-man crew. It's Adam Craig. <laughs> Adam Craig. Adam Craig outdoors. Yeah, it does smell like uh, sweet and sour, something or other. There's nothing wrong with that. Who gave you the sweet and sour advice? Uh, John Lord. I got that right. It's John I Lord. I think so. John Lord. Thanks for the thanks for the advice on cooking this up, buddy. We did uh, apple vinegar brine uh, with um, pickling spices overnight in the fridge and out of the fridge just to keep it uh, that right temperature. Come on in. No, I'm alright. You're just in the corner there. And uh, pulled that out this morning. We put it on a simmer. The meat hardened up so pretty solid, and then we just kept. I kept going and going and going on it. And uh, over time, it's just now it's just completely fall off the bone. Oh, it's got the sweetness too, and the juice. Adam said enough. Yeah. Adam said he would try it. Yeah, I did. And what's your vote? Um, I think the beaver is better. Yeah. And I think the groundhog's better. But this is not unedible. No. Yeah. You could certainly eat it. And we are gonna eat it. We're gonna eat this whole thing? I'm pretty full from my last meal still. Oh no, come on. Yeah, you guys try. Have been eating nonstop. Get out of there. It's got a it's got a slight aftertaste, I think. Are you catching yeah. any of that? You caught it, uh, Adam? Yeah. Like skunk? Yeah. I think so. Maybe it's because you're digging around the haunches there. Maybe. That's where you always spend your time. Yeah, oh yeah. Keep <laughs> those comments rolling. Jeremy loves them. <laughs> He's all about the haunches. King of the haunch. It's doable though. Oh, absolutely. Maybe it's just in the prep. Maybe if it had some barbecue sauce on there instead. It was a hair in mine. It's a rabbit hair? Clearly. A hair skunk? That'd be called a hunk, right? So you watch Sean, uh, Sean Woods eat this. Couldn't eat it. Here we are. We can devour this. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's certainly edible. For sure it's edible. I am. Yeah. We can have some more? No. <laughs> okay. well, good job. It's Thanks. all up to you guys. All I right. said I would taste it and that's where my job ends. Even the hornets like it. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah, they weren't around the other animals like this. Nope. So liver, liver's fine. 
Or I'll try a piece of that. There's the two heart halves there. Thanks for giving it a go, Adam. Uh, Adam thanks, thanks doesn't like wild food. Adam does not like wild food at all. It's like a wishbone. Like it half? Yeah. Cheers. Here's the heart. Nah, uh, I'm not really digging the heart. It's really bitter. I have to spit it out on camera. The rest of it's okay though. If you fed this, if you served this to somebody, deboned and all that, they wouldn't say you can't eat that, that's disgusting. No. And if right. you had it mixed into a, like a proper meal, other than just like yeah. pot skunk, that skull's all good. We got a plan for this skull, so stick around until we finish this. We're just up at Jeremy's Cottage, by the way, in case anybody, anybody's wondering if there's noise around. Boats and dogs. Yeah, we're in cottage country for sure. That flesh is all good. Nothing wrong with that. That's just around the rib cage. Couple little hairs here and there. Meets meat, guys. It's all in how you prepare it and what you think about it. I don't notice any aftertaste. These guys said there's a bit of an aftertaste, but I don't notice anything. I think it's the pieces I was eating at the start because the front end no. I don't have an aftertaste. Well, this is the back end, right? Yep. I don't taste the skunk aftertaste, but there's a funky aftertaste that something that's not apparent. Just something. With the groundhog, the bean. Or yeah, yeah. You're stripping everything off. We're eating this whole thing, guys. All the meat. Skunk down. So if you were hungry, oh, skunk's all you got. Yeah, I got the aftertaste. I got the skunk aftertaste there. <laughs> if a skunk's all you've got, and pickling brine, and maple sugar. Well, you could choke it down if you didn't do all that too. Yeah, no, that's just making it taste good, good. It's all about how you clean the skunk. If you're sloppy and you clean the skunk incorrectly, you will get a skunk that tastes like a skunk, no question asked. But if you take your time and you skin it properly, you're not going to get that all on your meat. It's a little special somebody who asked for the skull. All day long, been asking for the skull. <laughs> so we're going to clean the skull up. And if we get permission, we'll put that on camera. But anyway, it's a little girl who wants a skull. And she didn't want us to cook it because she wanted us to keep it nice for her. But I think we did a good job. Now it's going to peel all apart. The jaw. And the skull. All the teeth are in there. All the teeth are still in there. Nice. There's the tongue. Eat the tongue. You can pick some meat off that if you want here. Off the jaws? Yeah. Might as well clean it up for her. Yep. The gums. The gum skin. Oh yeah. So good. Meat on the top of the head. It's part of the sagittal crest. That helps your jaw move up and down. You got me a stick here behind you? A scrambling stick? Yeah, a scrambling stick. We've been doing this a lot during the Wilderness here. Living Challenge. I just made that for you. Ooh, that's perfect. Did you bushcraft that? I did. So on the Wilderness Living Challenge, where we needed to get a fat, like primitive people, we would put our scrambling stick in the back here and work it all around. Scramble the brains. I always wondered where that term comes from, scrambling the brains. So maybe this is it. Maybe people used to scramble the brains for a reason. A little bit of brain matter. Like the brains. I'm just leave, leaving because he's allergic to wasps. So now I'm going to take the brain. I'll swallow first. Eat this whole skunk. Well, that's a good time for all the perverted jokes. Eat the whole skunk? No, I got to swallow this first. <laughs> Guys, don't be mean in the comments. I can hardly stand them. Hurts my soul. I cry myself to sleep every night. I'm very sensitive. My skin is very thin. Alright, brain scrambled. Are you ready? Adam ready? Jamie ready? Slurp it down. 
brain skunk brain all right skunk brain oh, i didn't come out it's funny because you can hear it when it goes <laughs> <laughs> like butter. Whew. Very rich. All right. Oh, one piece. I forgot to plug the sinuses. You're sucking air. Should I? <laughs> I don't know. Give it a try. See if it works. All right. We're going to plug the sinuses halfway through. You might be onto something. Keep breath. Oh, it's not going to work this time. <laughs> I'm going to have to spoon it out. Oh, I got it. There you go. Yeah. There you go, guys. There you go. I got it. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> All right, fall in the dirt. I had intentions to eat it. There's the brain. Mushy, mushy brain. I screwed up the money shot. <laughs> oh, there's one piece left. We'll get it. All right. Ah, oh, I lost it again. <laughs> this is 100% blooper reel now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Uh -huh. Freeze the charm. <clears throat> There we go. Skunk brain. That's what we got left of our skunk. Bones. A little bit of liver. Did you like the liver? Yeah, it was okay. It was livery. Livery. Over. Liver. A couple pieces of meat on the bones here and that's it. One kidney. One kidney. And a skull. Done. You can eat a skunk. You can eat the brain. Everything. Okay, so let's go find that little girl and see if she wants that skull. If um, I don't get permission from the parents, then you're not going to see that part. But this is going to a little girl that has been begging for that skunk head since we started cooking it. Guys, you can eat skunk. Cheers. You know what this is? Yeah? There you go. I think. Pretty cool. You have to clean it up a little bit more. Nose. And the nose. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the nose hole, right? And so. This is the jaw, the two jaws. The bottom. The bottom. The bottom but don't oh. push on it too hard because we'll have to keep those little teeth glued on. Yeah, because that's very watery. It's a little bit loose, right? We'll dry it up and we'll scrape it off. So, there's the one tooth that's loose on there, and then there's a little tiny bone. You see that little tiny bone yeah. there? Yes. So that goes attached to that eye. So you can get some, when this is all dried out, you get a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there. And you connect them back together and you'll have a complete skull, including all of the teeth. But you'll have to clean out the inside of the skull. With a Q-tip, maybe. Yeah. Okay. The nose is full of duck. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll get like a little toothpick to clean it, okay? What do you say? You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Like that. Give me a big smile. <laughs>